The opioid crisis may have found its ounce of prevention in this small zip close pouch. It's called Deterra, and nonprofit Inspira Health Network is making sure it gets into the hands of people who need it. It's a very simple product. It uses activated charcoal, which is not harmful to anyone. In fact, we often use that in our emergency rooms for a poison antidote. It'll make you throw up. That charcoal neutralizes drugs, rendering them ineffective before disposal. Other companies are also using this technique. This Deterra ad explains how to use their system. Simply place unused medication in the environmentally friendly pouch. Fill halfway with warm tap water. Wait 30 seconds. Seal tightly and gently shake. Then put in the trash receptacle. The pouches retail for less than $7 each. Inspira bought in bulk, a whopping 50,000 bags for local YMCAs, police departments, and their own locations. According to the Foundation for a Drug-Free World, 2,500 new teens begin abusing prescription pain relievers every day in the U.S. And President and CEO of Inspira, John D'Angelo, says three out of four heroin users started with prescription drugs. I mean, if we can stop just, you know, one, one of these people, either it's a kid or somebody who uh, might go on uh, become a heroin addict, and we can stop them from that, the investment's worth it. Pensgrove Police Chief Ted Stranahan agrees. The pouches gave his department an easy answer to common challenges. For example, a resident passed away, leaving the family with a large quantity of leftover prescriptions. Responding officers came, the family was there. They were able to gather all the medication and use a couple of the packets to destroy the medication, neutralize it, and dispose of it in regular trash. That also means the drugs didn't have to be taken in by police and held on to until they could be properly disposed of. Stranahan says the less people who have to handle the drugs and might be tempted by them, the better. The officers are able to document it on their body camera that the medication was disposed of, dumped in, neutralized, and disposed of. Offering deterra pouches can also encourage people to connect with the police to dispose of their drugs. Residents may be uncomfortable showing their prescriptions or even having the drugs on them in the presence of law enforcement, but now they don't have to. This offers them an opportunity to take this with them home and then destroy it in the privacy of their own home. If they need more, they'll come back and get them from us. They're free. There's another benefit to deterra's system, an environmental one. In their research, Inspira Health Network found that a primary way people dispose of prescription drugs is by flushing them down the toilet. And according to the International Joint Commission, which oversees shared water between the U.S. and Canada, water treatment facilities remove less than a half of the prescription drugs found in sewage. So whatever method of disposal you use, think twice about how you discard your prescription drugs. From the newsroom, I'm Maddie Orton, NJTV News.